Welcome back to another candid session of Drone Business Strategy Magazine, where we seamlessly blend straight up, street smart strategies with scholarly insights to empower and inspire your professional aerial ambitions. And now, here's our navigator, business strategist, and commercial drone pilot, Tony Marino. How are you? And welcome to the Drone Business Strategy Magazine podcast series. We will take a deep dive again today, as usual, into the world of commercial drone pilotry and the strategies that drive our success. I'm Tony, and thanks for uh, hanging out with me today. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to find out more about our surrounding marketplace, particularly our competitors and other forces that could either help move us ahead or destroy us, okay? How do we do that? Today, we're going to talk about an essential for, I think, every drone pilot success, any business success, really. It's the PESTEL analysis, P-E-S-T-E-L, acronym, initialism there, PESTEL analysis, a comprehensive guide for commercial drone pilots. That's what I've kind of put together for you here in a nutshell. But this stuff is very important. And once you hear it, you can't unhear it. So it's a good thing. It's a good thing. All right. So we'll talk about some problems and, of course, solutions. What you can do to attain your competitive advantage and then sustain it. That's the goal, right? In the marketplace. And remember, too, let me point out a little sidebar caveat here. You only need a piece of the market. You don't need 100% of the marketplace. In some cases, it might be just a half a percent or a half of a half a percent. I can equate to a fairly generous revenue stream. So every little bit helps. Those commercial drone pilots, where you and I are both aware of the ever-evolving nature of our industry. Every day, new technologies, regulations, market trends emerge, right? Shaping the landscape of our drone service businesses. So today, we'll cover PESTEL. We'll talk about the analysis, what it means, why it's important. So here's the fundamentals. What is it? Why is it indispensable for us drone pilots, right? Commercial drone pilots piloting for profit. Why? Well, it's an environmental analysis. Not environmental like, although there is one section of PESTEL that does deal with environment. However, it's an environmental analysis. Basically, you're scanning the entire horizon, the entire environment. Okay, you're looking at you're looking for good forces and bad forces. But in order to identify them, you have to know how to go about doing it so that you can protect yourself, okay? And then also be able to move forward with those golden opportunities that sometimes only happen, you know, once in a gray while, right? So now you're more prepared. So it's an environmental analysis, also known as the PESTEL analysis, P-E-S-T-E-L, it's a strategic tool used to identify and analyze external factors that could impact our business. So here's what the acronym stands for if you don't already know. These are political forces, economic forces, social forces, technological forces, environmental forces, and legal forces and factors. So by conducting a thorough analysis of these factors, we can gain a deeper understanding of our operating environment, we can identify potential risks and opportunities, and we can develop strategies to navigate the changes in our marketplace. Because you know they're changing, right? Ebb and flow, ebb and flow. You know, yin and yang, there's always that balance, right? Everything's moving, okay? The only thing that's constant is change, right? So the pestle analysis takes you through six critical lenses each offering a unique perspective on our drone service businesses. So let's delve into each one, starting with the political factor, the, the political forces that shape our world and how they may affect 
our industry or, or our business directly, for that matter. Political factors, they refer to the influence of government policies, um, regulations on businesses. In the context of the commercial drone industry, political factors can have a significant impact on the demand for, say, drone services and the overall operating environment. You got regulatory landscape, which would be a subset here, of the political climate in the region where you can operate can greatly affect your drone business, right? Where can we fly where we can't fly? So there's regulatory concerns. That falls under the political forces of the pestle. So you got to stay, so what do you do to, what's the problem solution? Well, you got to stay updated with local, national, and international regulations related to our drone operations. So remember too, political changes or new policies may lead to shifts in requirements and restrictions. So we've got to keep our finger on the pulse here when we're just dealing with the P of pestle. Another subset of pestle or the P of pestle in the political sector would be security concerns. Political decisions are being made every day. Governmental actions can directly impact the security and safety aspects of drone usage, right? We were already seeing that with some drone companies out there. DJI's been getting pushed back for a while, right? And other companies as well. So changes in regulation to um, address security concerns may very well affect where and how we operate or where we can operate our, our drones. And then you've got international trade relations. That factors in under the political sector. I mean, if you source uh, equipment or parts internationally, political factors like trade relations and tariffs can influence the cost and availability of drone components, uh, potentially impacting you know, our pricing and profit margins. Think about recently with the remote ID little components, the modules, right? Supply and demand, the demand's high and they don't have enough modules. So what happened? The FAA, that just totally spun things for the FAA. And now they have to do a six month extension uh, relative to how they're going to enforce this new mandate for drone pilots. So that's an external force that affects us politically when we're thinking about the pestle analysis like we're thinking about right now so that's p that's political and those are just a few of political of the political concerns that we can run up against let's take a look now at the economic that's the e in pestle p-e s-t-e-l we're going to look at the first e economic factors for us as drone pilots refers to the influence of economic conditions and trends on our businesses in the commercial drone industry these factors can affect the demand for our drone services and our business's financial viability. And how so? Well, you've got market demand. That's a subset of economics here. The economic health of our target market directly influences the, the demand for drone services. Hey, if you're a real estate photographer and all of a sudden the market's drying up, see, Market demand, factors such as consumer spending, that changes with economics, right? Business investments and overall economic growth can affect the volume and type of projects we receive. Taking a look at another subset of economics, when we're doing our environmental scan, right, of the industry and beyond. Look at competition and pricing. Economic conditions clearly impact the level of competition in the drone industry think about it economic downturns that can lead to increased competition as more individuals begin to enter the industry potentially affecting our pricing and profitability and then also economically you've got cost of equipment right economic factors such as inflation and currency exchange rates that fluctuates so the cost of drone components and equipment, maybe we're buying the equipment and the drone manufacturers are purchasing the components, but it all works kind of part and parcel. We should be aware of these things. So understanding these trends can help us manage expenses effectively. So again, we've now looked at 
We're thinking about pestle analysis, so we've looked at political and economic forces. Let's now look at the S, T, E, and L of pestle. So the S of pestle is social factors for drone pilots. That encompasses uh, cultural and social trends that influence businesses, our businesses. In our industry, these factors impact both demand and public perception. Think about, you know, having the wrong person out there talking about the wrong brand at the wrong time to the wrong audience. What's happened socially? People have turned their back on beer companies and other many companies for that matter in many arenas. So you got public perception. That falls under social factors that you need to be aware of as you're scanning the environment, understanding basically the field you're playing upon. Who's out there on the field with you? You're sizing up everybody that could potentially affect your strategy and your trajectory towards your, your mission and your objectives. So, uh, social factors play a significant role in the demand for our services. Public perception and acceptance of drones affects the willingness of clients to hire drone pilots. Negative incidents or widespread concerns can influence public opinion. We see this when somebody, some knucklehead, goes out and, you know, flies in a baseball game or flies too close to a jet, you know, just does stupid things. Well, guess what? It makes the paper. Now they got a story, they run it, and now we look like boneheads. So there's public opinion. That affects you. Got to be mindful of that. How about the time you're driving around, you forget you have the decal on the side of your truck, and somebody kind of cuts you off, and you give them maybe the finger, right? And then you realize a second later that your logo's on the side of the vehicle and everybody else in every other car just saw you do that. Got to be mindful. Not trying to be nitpicky, but if you can get your mind thinking that way or at least moving in that direction, nobody's perfect. We can't think of everything at all times, but it's good to have that back there as a resource, and these are things we can practice on to become better at being aware of our surroundings. Remember, the business we save may be our own. So let's take a look at also another social factor in Pestle, the demographics. Got to understand the demo, right? You got to understand your target audience. Who are you talking to? Are you going after the real estate market? Are you going to be doing, are you going to be a surveyor? Are you getting into agriculture? Each of these markets, although they're in the same industry, they have a different language. You're going to market to them with different colors and shapes and sizes and sounds and emotions, right? Because they all have different needs. They all have different wants. They all have different problems that need to be solved. Different age groups and demographics may have varying levels of interest and acceptance of drone technology, which can shape your marketing and service offerings. So again, this is why you need to understand your target. And that's, I've talked about that and we'll get more into that into future programs. And I've already covered this dealing with target audience and I'll really try to just pare down into it uh, maybe in the next few weeks, okay? That way we can really identify, define really who our target audience is. And when you do that, your marketing spend, your investment in your advertising, whether it would be paid advertising or earned media, that's when you earn media is when you get free publicity because you did something cool in town. So they come over and they give you some love and they put you on the front page, earn media. So in a few weeks, we'll talk about how to laser focus on your target audience. Then you know exactly where to spend your dollars and where to invest wisely. And you can do it in a very teeny tiny geocentric fashion. So instead of trying to be all things to all people, you're more of that laser beam. You're more laser focused. Okay. That's what we really mean by target audience. Trends and fads are also two factors that fall under social forces under Pestle's social sector. And that means staying attuned to social trends. That's again, keeping your finger on the pulse, being aware, not of everything. You've got to be selective. There's 24 hours in a day. All right. So within reason, it helps you identify emerging opportunities because we're always looking out for those opportunities. 
Okay. Because you never know when one thing's going to dry up. So you have to keep that pipeline. And again, we've talked about that in subsequent programs, and I'll talk about it again in the future, about keeping that pipeline filled. Critical. Got to keep that ball rolling. For instance, when we're talking about trends and and fads, let's say if drone photography becomes a popular trend, which of course it has, you can tailor your services to meet that demand. So you can kind of see where things are going. And then there might be a subset. You might be an agricultural, you know, drone pilot, but then there might be down the road, something might open up to where you see like a, a, a special niche that's even more nichier than that. You see what I mean? So you can really become super boutique. But you got to, you know, be looking out for those opportunities. All right, so PESTEL, P-E-S. We've already covered the S. We covered political, economic, social. We just covered. Now we're going to talk about the T-E-L. The T is going to be the technological forces. This refers to the influence of technological advancements on business in general. And in our particular industry, the drone industry, staying current with these advancements is vital, right? So let's talk about some of the subsets uh, factoring in technological uh, forces. So we've got advancements in drone technology, right? Number one, I mean, you know, keeping pace with technological advancements in the drone industry, got to do that, right? You're doing that. That's why you're listening to the show right now. Uh, new drone models are coming out. We, new drones are popping out of DJI like every 15 minutes with children. Uh, advanced sensors are coming out, improved camera technology. Uh, this can enhance the services we offer. So those technological factors can play a very positive role relative to finding new opportunities or enhancing what you currently do in your present business model. Let's talk about automation and artificial intelligence, right? AI. I love AI. Integrating automation and AI into our drone operations can improve efficiency and data accuracy. For example, automated flight planning software streamlines the missions, right? While AI-powered image analysis can provide valuable insights to clients. Integration with other technologies. There's another one another subset of the technological forces relative to scanning our environment and being mindfully aware of our surroundings, particularly what's happening that can affect our businesses. Drones can be integrated with various technologies, such as sensors, data analytics, GPS, and understanding how these integrations can expand our service capabilities can improve the client experience, and and make us even all the more competitive. Remember the competitive advantage. That's what we want out there. It doesn't mean we're mean and we own the entire market. Okay, there's room for everybody. Okay, we don't have to, this is a a great, I've found, as a sidebar here, I have, my opinion, tiny opinion, is that I have found friendly people and so many opportunities for us to work together yeah, you might not be able to own, but you can. I mean, if you want to be that guy or that girl, you can do that. But, you know, let's, let's work together, let's, especially as the industry is evolving because we're all learning. And then eventually we'll have, you know, the, the Bill Gates or the Steve Jobs of the drone industry that will come out of the woodwork. And then, we'll, then they'll be the lords of drones. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm talking about. All right, so let's go back to our pestle now. So we've now talked about technological right there, but we covered in PESTEL, P-E-S-T-E-L, which is political. I'm going to say it again in case you're just joining us. So it's it's political, economic, sociological, technological, that we're going to get to environmental here in a moment, and then our last one will be legal. These are factors that we must consider in forces that surround us in the environment that we play within, okay? Environmental factors, they encompass conditions and trends related to the environment. In the commercial drone industry, these factors can affect us as drone operators and our operations and sustainability. Uh, Let's look at one environmental thing. This is an obvious one. Weather conditions, right? That plays a critical role in drone operations. Different weather conditions such as wind, rain, temperature, 
that impacts our ability to fly safely and capture quality data, unless you want everything upside down and sideways. And then the broken drone, and then we're calling in with our insurance uh, claim. And people do that all the time. It makes me laugh, but it's still sad. Monitoring weather forecasts, monitoring weather forecasts, and having contingent plans is is got is got to be paramount to you. Okay, obviously, and you do it, and I know you do because you're a safe pilot. Let's take a look at another subset of environmental when we're looking at the forces. All right, these are the regulations. Environment, yeah. As drones become more prevalent, environmental regulations are going to likely emerge and evolve. These regulations will likely be things like noise pollution restrictions. We've already heard some of this scuttlebutt out there in the banter. Some of it's legit, some of it's who knows. I'm not judging, I'm just telling. Air quality concerns, wildlife protection, sound familiar? So complying with these rules, it's essential for ethical and legal drone operations. Look at sustainability. That's a subset of, of environmental forces that we face. Sustainable practice gaining importance in various industries including drone services. So evaluating, evaluating the environmental impact of our operations and taking steps to reduce our carbon footprint can align in our business with sustainability trends. And then you can put that all over your website. I'm green. Everything's green. I'm all about it. Okay. Finally, in PESTL, the acronym or initialism of PESTL, P-E-S-T-E-L, we are now at the legal This is the last one, but I also have a a pro tip coming up before we wrap. The legal factors. These encompass the influence of laws, regulations, policies on businesses in our industry and beyond. These factors can have a significant impact on our operations and growth. So as a subset of legal, drone regulations. Now, these can vary significantly by location and evolve over time. So what do we do? We stay informed, right, about local, national, international regulations, critical compliance with regulations, right, regarding flight altitude, flight zones, airspace, remote ID, drone registration, certification, validation and updates, right, all that stuff. Then you've got liability and insurance. That falls under legal. Drone pilots, I believe, should carry adequate insurance coverage to protect against potential liability. You ram that drone into somebody's hair, or you hurt somebody, or you break something really bad. I'm not talking about your drone. That's like your comprehensive insurance policy. I'm talking about the liability, where you take somebody out, or you hurt them, or you cause somebody to run from the drone. You're thinking, what's the drone going to do? You know, maybe it'll nip an ear. Well, what if the person's running from you, and they slip and fall and land on a shovel? or worse, right? So understanding the legal aspects of liability and drone operations, it can help us remain informed so that we make the right decisions regarding insurance. There's a lot of insurance companies out there that are now carrying drone insurance. Some people use it as riders off of their renters or their home insurance policy. Check it out. I go through State Farm, absolutely love it. It's, it's just a few pennies on the dollar, okay? It really is million dollar policy or more. Finally, privacy and data protection. That falls under legal forces that can affect our industry and us in our own particular service business. With drones collecting and transmitting data, privacy and data protection regulations obviously are cracking down. Ensuring that you and I comply with data protection and privacy laws, it's critical. You and I both know that, right? So we avoid legal consequences and also Respect the rights of others, right? Let's protect other people's too the best we can. So, to cap off the program tonight, we've covered the five forces, or we've we've talked about the pestle, which is going to be the environmental analysis, right? Political, economic, social, technological, environmental, and legal forces. Make sure you can go you can go back to the podcast and listen to this over again, over and again, over and over and over again. Okay, if you didn't take notes, so you want to just remember what the heck we were talking about. So here we go. I want to move into one quick caveat here. I want to add a little bonus to this because I think it's important and it really slides in. It just takes a couple of moments. I want to talk about something very important. And this is something I studied in in my graduate uh, 
academia. Dealing with the five forces analysis, it, uh, the five forces analysis is a framework that assesses the competitive environment in our industry. So what's going on out there around us? Who's doing what? Do we have competitors? What are they charging? Who's coming in soon that we don't even know about yet? What about substitutes? Can somebody else do what I do and maybe in a different way that's cheaper? Uh, what about, can they get supplies? I can't. What about the bargaining powers? Uh, and I'll get, let me just quickly brush over these and I'll do a program in a couple of weeks dealing with Dr. Michael Porter's Five Foresters, a uh, Harvard business professor, but really blends in beautifully with those of us that are a serious uh, commercial drone uh, pilots and really want to run a, you know, a, a ship shape operation. So let's, let's take a look at the five forces analysis again, developed by Dr. Michael Porter insights into our industry's competitive environment. Here's a brush over. We want to look at, we'll be looking at competitive rivalry. So there's five forces. So the first one is com competitive rivalry. That's understanding our competitors strengths and weaknesses. And in, in understanding the strengths and weaknesses, it allows us to be able to differentiate our services effectively, amongst other things. More on that later. Another force, the second five of the five forces, threat of new entrants. That's barriers to entry in the drone services market. That can impact competition. You know, you might say, well, somebody can fly with a you know, a small, you know, a little tiny, you know, 250G thing. You could fly with the drone, yeah, and you could go out and probably do some commercial work. But they're not going to be able to do ag. They're not going to be able to get out there and do, you know, LIDAR and all this other high-tech performance. So that that may keep somebody, that may bar them or, give, or create a barrier to entry because they can't afford to get in. But there are threats out there. So you've got to protect your market share and how do you do it through strong reputation and regulatory relationships? Just keep your eyes peeled on everything, and that'll that'll help you be become aware if there's new entrants on the on the horizon. Okay, about to turn the corner on you. Threat of substitutes. That's another one of Dr. Porter's five forces. Number three is threat of substitutes. That means identify opportunities to differentiate your drone services from traditional alternatives. Okay, so. A benefit for you is to say, what can I do a little bit differently? Do I do, do, how do I charge for my services? Um, do I, you know, I, you, how do I, what type of cameras am I using? What is my, we look for benefits and things that are different. Do you ride a pogo stick into the client's office? I mean, what is, do, you know, do you go in there and dance when you're doing the drone flying? Do you sing? I mean, whatever it is, something that differentiates what's what you do other than, you know, rather than, I mean, as opposed to your competitors. Okay. It's been a long day. I've been flying all day today. Okay. My brain's like mush, but still going on. I just got the, I got the coffee back here behind me. All right. So let's talk about bargaining power of suppliers. This is number four. Negotiating that helps us negotiate better prices in terms by assessing the bargaining prices and power of, of our suppliers. Okay. So if we're buying more stuff, et cetera, we're doing more business, you know, you get that bargaining power. But see, they can come in too. These, these buy, these, the, the power of suppliers, they can also turn around, come right back at you and say, well, we're in control right now. So we're a force that could potentially be against you because now we're going to raise the prices because the tariffs have gone through the roof and we're shipping from China. And so the price, right? Okay. So there's that force we're dealing with the, the power of suppliers and then finally you got the power of buyers they they though they're the ones they're the voters they go no i don't want their yes i do so you got to attract or retain them by understanding their bargaining power and again that's something that we will talk about in depth in summary conducting pestle the analysis we discussed tonight crucial step for our commercial drone pilot service operation it helps us understand the external forces influencing our business identifying our opportunities, mitigating risks, and making informed decisions for our long-term success. If you found this program inspiring and informative, please support us by hitting the like button and subscribing to the YouTube podcast channel. You can also download tonight's white paper for the episode for free by clicking the link in the description below. So remember, success in your drone service business depends not only on your flying skills, but 
also on your ability to understand and adapt to the external forces that shape our industry. Until next time, keep soaring to new heights, all right? Brothers, sisters, may your drone business reach new horizons. God bless you. Much love. See you soon. And that's a wrap for today's high-flying wisdom on the Drone Business Strategy Magazine podcast. Pre-planned for ambitious drone pilots like you. As we tie down another session of seamlessly blending street smart strategies with scholarly insights to empower and inspire your professional aerial ambitions, remember, your journey is your destination. For more drone business strategy information and valuable resources, be sure to explore aerialnorthwest.com. Stay tuned for more aerial adventures and strategic brilliance exclusively on the Drone Business Strategy Magazine podcast. Until next time, keep those dreams flying high. Thank you.